Developed, tested, and perfected by me, Kel Kellogg. Turbo Flashers. Turbocharge your trout trolling today by going over to Fish Hunt Shoot dot com and picking up a set of my turbo flashers you won't regret it they'll help you catch more and bigger fish they've done that for me and they'll do that for you fish on fish on the speed spoon baby <laughs> oh boy now I was stepping along at about 2.7 miles an hour right there gotta keep going I got my second rod out there right there Folks, I'm Kel Kellogg and it is time to talk about trolling speed. Trolling speed for trout, trolling speed for landlocked salmon. Um, I like to troll fast. What's fast? Well, for me, fast is anything, you know, 2.7 or above. Three miles an hour, that's kind of my average fast trolling speed. I might bump it up to four miles an hour. If I'm pulling, you know, big minnow plugs, I might bump it up to five miles an hour, which sounds tremendously fast. But when you consider that a rainbow trout can swim 16 miles an hour, um, faster than the fastest Olympic sprinter can sprint, um, three miles an hour, four miles an hour, even five miles an hour doesn't sound that fast. But, uh, you know, it really doesn't hit home until you see it. And I've got some footage I want to I wanna show you here. The first, the first segment you're going to see is a rainbow trout coming in to hit a speed spoon. Speed spoon's moving right at 3.1 miles an hour. Now watch. The fish is coming in fast, but he has absolutely no problem catching up with that spoon. Now check out this this little segment of video here. This is a fish coming in to hit a trolling fly going 1.5 miles an hour. Now, you saw that that fish, you know, had no problem hitting that spoon going three miles an hour. Well, the fish hitting the fly here, I mean, the fly looks like it's standing still compared to the fish. It looks like it's just going painfully slow. So, what's the moral of this story? You know what trolling speed you prefer, but just know that uh, you don't have to worry about trolling too fast. In fact, I think a lot of the time we're trolling too slow. A trout can easily run down a lure that's running three, four, five, even six miles an hour. The problem is we don't have many lures that we can run at those high speeds. And even if we did, we don't know that the trout are gonna hit at those high speeds. Just because a trout can swim that fast doesn't mean he's gonna hit a lure moving that fast. But my gut instinct tells me if we could troll lures at six miles an hour, we would catch fish on them. A fast moving lure, something just blazing in on those fish, it tends to trigger reaction strikes that you probably wouldn't get with a slower moving bait. Of course, there are other times when the water's cold or for whatever reason the fish are off and you do want that slow moving lure. You want that lure that just hangs in the strike zone. And I could tell you, a lure moving one and a half miles an hour to a trout, it just seems to hang in that strike zone forever because in terms of the, the trout's world, that lure is barely moving. Um, even, even a lure going three miles an hour doesn't seem to be moving very fast in terms of the, 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 the trout's perception. But anyway, just a few more thoughts on speed, guys. And uh, now I'm starting to run that underwater camera, so the thoughts are being kind of backed up with, with hard field evidence. So anyway, the moral of this, this story, don't worry about trolling too fast. Let the fish tell you what they want. But don't worry that you're going to pull your lure away from the fish. You can't do it. It's just not going to happen. Trout, king salmon, they're super fast, super efficient predators. You just need to figure out what to put in front of them to trigger that predatory response. I'm Kel Kellogg. I'm out of here. Don't worry about trolling too fast. Um, you have a great day. I will catch you next time right here on YouTube. And if you're looking for trout gear, fish hunt, shoot. Dot com rods reels spoons the whole deal you know what i got over there if you're looking for quality gear at a, at a very fair price gear that you see me using here on a channel gear that performs fishhuntshoot.com thanks a lot guys i'll catch you next time right here on youtube look at those big beautiful rainbows that's what trolling flies can do you think trolling flies don't work well think again you need to grab a set of my trolling flies 
get out on the water and get ready to go big. <laughs> yes.